Disney Pixar The World of Cars Meet the Cars Part 1 Meet the Cars Lightning McQueen and Team Rusties First we have Lightning McQueen Lightning McQueen is a hot shot rookie race car poised to become the youngest car ever to win the Piston Cup championship. McQueen is built for speed and has just two things on his mind, winning and the perks that come with it. In his fast-paced life, he has little time for anything or anyone. But who needs friends when you've got a stadium full of fans? Next, we have Mac. Mac spends endless days and sleepless nights crisscrossing the country. For some, this life would quickly grow old, but not for Mac. He knows how important his role is. He drives for Lightning McQueen, the world's fastest race car. He's part of the team, and everyone knows there's no I in team, just like there's no I in Mac. Not Chuck. His name is Not Chuck. Not Chucky. Not Chuckmeister. Not Chaz. Not Chet. Not Charlie. And not Charles. He's a firm believer that a racer is only as good as his tires are fresh. So his motto is, change them early and change them often. Next, we have Dusty Rusties. Dusty and his brother Rusty like to help out their fellow Rusty cars almost as much as they like telling jokes. This is why they invented Rusty's medicated bumper ointment. Whether it's some browning around the wheel well or a bumper that's completely falling off, Rusty and Dusty are there with a can of Rusty's to fix it or at least ease the burning, itching, and soreness that plagues so many cars. Rusty Rusties Rusty and his brother Dusty created a small empire out of their mother's garage in Boston. It's been over 15 years, and their mother has watched their operation grow into a household name with factories all over the country. Rusty and Dusty's mother say she couldn't be more proud of her two boys' accomplishments, but she hopes that their next big move will be out of her garage. The Cars of Radiator Springs and Ornament Valley Sally Sally grew tired of her life in the fast lane as a high-powered attorney in Los Angeles. So she made a new start in the small town of Radiator Springs. Charming, intelligent, and witty, she became the town's attorney. She also became the car most dedicated to preserving the town's historical beauty. She even bought a motel and restored it to its original condition. And she has no plans of stopping there. She'd fix the town building by building if that's what it took. Let's read about Mater. Mater is a good old boy with a big heart. And he's the only tow truck in Radiator Springs. Mater runs Tow Mater Towing and Selvage and manages the local impound lot. Though a little rusty, he has the quickest tow rope in Carburetor County and is always the first to lend a helping hand. Mater sees the bright side of any situation. He's the heart and soul of Radiator Springs. He doesn't have a mean bolt on his chassis. Doc Hudson Doc Hudson is a car of few words but many talents. He not only serves as the town judge, he's also Radiator Springs' resident doctor. Doc is respected and admired by the townsfolk for the way he looks out for their health and tends their aches and pains. No one knows too much about Doc's life before he came to town. 
he keeps his private life private. But if you've got a bad spark plug or a rattle in your engine, his door is always open. Flow. Flo first arrived in Radiator Springs as a touring motorama girl in the 50s. She was headed west with a group of models when her chaperone got fuel pump problems just outside of town. Flo and the other show car girls spent an unforgettable night in Radiator Springs. While she was there, Flo's paint got scratched. But when she went to Ramon for a paint job, he refused. It wasn't because he was too good to paint her, but because she was too good to be painted. When the girls left, Flo stayed. She and Ramon have been together ever since. Ramon, a true artist, isn't afraid to take chances, explore new ways to express himself, or push the limits of culture. Ramon believes that the automotive body can be a vehicle of expression. Every day gives him a chance to explore new paint jobs and to push the limitless boundaries of his art. Luigi. Luigi runs the local tire shop in Radiator Springs. Luigi's Casa de la Tires. If you're going to drive through this world, why not look good doing it? That's Luigi's motto. Cars may not get to choose their body type, but they all have a choice when it comes to tires they wear. Luigi offers the finest selection of tires west of the Mississippi. Luigi's Casa de la Tires is known far and wide for impeccable service, competitive prices, and of course, its very stylish owner. Guido. Like his boss, Luigi, Guido is a huge Ferrari racing fan. He dreams of being part of a real pit crew for a real race car. To better prepare himself, he practices tire changes at night on a wooden frame he built in his garage. One of these days, he hopes to set a new world record for the fastest pit stop of all time. But until that happens... He keeps trying to learn new things. Currently, Guido is reading Tire Changes for the Soul and Four Tires, One Goal. Sheriff. There's a long history of law enforcement in Sheriff's family. His father was a traffic cop. So were his aunt, his uncle, his two cousins on his mother's side, and his little brother. Even his grandfather was a terrific cop in New York around the turn of the century. Sheriff always knew, too, he would be a cop. After all, how many other options did he have with a name like Sheriff? Red. Red may not be a fire truck of many words, but what he doesn't say, he shows through his generous actions. Whether it's putting out a tire fire or caring for the beautiful flowers of Radiator Springs, Red is there to support and protect his beloved town. Red takes negative comments about his town very personally, so if you have something bad to say about Radiator Springs, you'd better watch out, because if there's one thing Red is not afraid of, it's his emotions. Sarge Sarge loves to tell stories about his daring fearlessness in the military. One time, one of his tank friends lost a track in the Battle of the Bulge. And Sarge towed him to safety. For his bravery, Sarge received the grill badge of true metal. This and medals like it are displayed front and center at Sarge's surplus hut right next to Sarge's own brand of the Mother Road Survival Kit. He guarantees that if you break down, his kit will get you through the night or the next world war. Even better, it all stows nicely in your trunk. Fillmore Fillmore is Radiator Springs' resident hippie. 
a believer in individuality in all things natural. He brews his own organic fuel and preaches about its many benefits. Visitors can try Fillmore's special flavors in the tasting room behind his love bead and tie-dye covered geodesic dome. His many conspiracy theories and naturally unkept yard drive his neighbor Sarge absolutely crazy. Lizzie When Lizzie first rolled into Radiator Springs in 1927, it was love at first sight, love for the town itself, and love for Stanley, the town founder. But she kept Stanley on the soft shoulder for months. Then one day, she realized that Stanley's vision for a new oasis in the desert had become her dream too. From that day on, they became the heart and soul of the town and a couple that was never apart. Stanley. The statue of Stanley marks the very spot where Radiator Springs was founded. As he was traveling west, searching for a place to settle and making his fortune, Stanley stumbled upon a natural spring coming up from the earth. He stopped to fill his radiator and never left. Soon afterward, Stanley met Lizzie, the love of his life. Together, they founded the town of Radiator Springs, which soon became a legendary resting spot for travelers. Well, that's all for now. If you'd like to hear part two, please give this video a like so I know you enjoy this story. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for a notification. Thank you.